Hi, hello. My name is Martel, and I want to be an artist when I grow up. Now, with the introduction done, which I actually wrote down step by step, what I want to do. Uh, yes, I want to be an artist when I grow up, and I've always uh, engaged in some form of art, whether it was a form of visual art for my pens, pencils, crayons, and markers, or whether it was a performance art when I used to do comedy at the Improv Olympic in Chicago. So I want to start off by saying so many different people in so many different ways have their own definition of what art is, whether it's their definition or a philosophy of what art is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read what the actual definition of art is, and it's a little long-winded, and I apologize for that, but the actual definition of what art is, is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, sculpture, Producing work to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Very long-winded. And I like to say my own personal definition and my own personal philosophy of what art is, is that art is captivating. It's what captivates you for the moment or for a lifetime. Now, there are artists out there that have been captivated by landscape, by urban uh, scenes, right, by um, figure drawing, by still life and abstract. Now, if you don't know all the technical terms and technical uh, jargon for the arts world, quote unquote, uh, it's okay. Don't let nobody else tell you how you're supposed to appreciate art. Appreciate it the way you want to. Like it because of the color. Like it because of the way it makes you feel. The rhythm, the texture, right? Don't step to a piece of art, whether it's visual or performance, and let somebody tell you how it's supposed to make you feel. No, forget that. Feel the way you want to feel about art. Now, what uh, I want to go to a next step is what is the most important part about art? And that is you. It's the audience. Without the audience, art is nothing. It's the audience, the people who view the piece, that make the artists themselves immortal. I know it's a little philosophical, it's a little poetic, but it's true. We all know who Picasso is. We all know who Da Vinci is. We all know who um, Salvador D D Dali, if I pronounce his name correctly. If I didn't, I apologize. But we all know who they are. Right? And it's because we've passed down their works and we've shown their work. I've shown their work to friends. I've shown their work to my daughter. Now, I'm going to go back a little bit to how art captivates. So, I'm going to go back to what um, what is art and my philosophy. And it is what captivates you. It could be something very simple. Like an eye. Right? So, I'm going to do a little thing back here. I'm going to make an eye. And I'm not going to care about the technicalities of it. I just want to go ahead and put it down on paper. And after I do it, I'm going to use the pastels to color it. So, let's go. That's what I'm working with right now. So boom, this is just a basic eye, right? There's nothing very much captivating about it now, but we're going to start adding to it. So don't let people tell you that, oh, that's nothing. No, it's a little something that you're gonna grow into. You're gonna do it at the time, you're gonna do it at the moment. So let's choose the color that we're gonna use from these oil pastels here that I got for Christmas. And so I want to do something a little bit different. I like little darker colors using this right here. And 
And so you can see how the color is starting to come together, which is something that, uh, you know, you just play with, man. Just have fun with it. Don't let people tell you how technical it needs to be. It doesn't need to be technical at all. I'm just throwing pastel color on that here paper, you know, and I'm doing just random colors. I'm just picking them, but it's the way they're going to blend together. So now I'm going to use this right here to blend in the color before I start going around the outside. And you'll see how that starts to come together. And as you see, as I'm blending it in, it's losing, well, I say losing, but um, some of the color is faint. So I'm going to go back into it, add some more color to it. Now, I'm going to go back in there with some of the blues, and I'm going to just put them in there randomly. And this is what I like to do with pastel. This is why I like pastel so much, because it's like I'm work working with chalk, and like an adult, grown-up version of chalk. Now, the next thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to have more fun with it. I know I started this video, that's why I'm making an eye, as you see the eye. But I'm going to add acrylic paint to this, my baby, and uh, you'll see what's going to start happening. So it's all about having fun. Just throw whatever idea you have out the window and just have fun with it. So I uh, got some acrylics here. I got some water. This is what I paint with because these cups were recalled and I don't drink out of it. I use it for my painting. And of course, I've got a napkin too. Put the paintbrushes on. You never leave the paintbrushes inside your cup. <laughs> never do this. You get your paintbrushes out, go a little dry, and leave them on your napkin. So I'm going to get ready and paint. And I have this. It was a gift. Obviously, you see all the paint that's on it I've been using. I'm going to get some blue. Get some blue up there. Get some of this green. And I'm gonna wet my brush in water. Now this paper I'm using, just FYI, is for markers. Paper isn't even for paint and stuff like that, but it's the biggest paper I currently have, so it's the one I'm gonna use. Little bits of water. Dab by brushing a napkin. I mean, you can't see it, but I'm, you know, narrating for you. Get some more water. 
and put the green in there. And I'm just going in different directions with the green. There's really no... Concept. Come here. There's really no what? Concept. So what's next, right? What's next? Well, next I want to add some highlights to the eye itself before I get too out of control with everything I'm doing. And for the highlights, I'm going to use white. simply simply white, you know? Well, the technical term is snow white. Yes, I'm at the princess. I'm going to change my brush up. It's a little bit smaller brush. And this is the close-up of the eyeball. And I know from far away, it was kind of hard to notice it. But this is how it looks up close. And as you see how I put the pastels in there, not really caring about the technique of it. And how I save the outline for the last because I personally love the way that black really comes up. Now, from here, I, I, I'm done. Or if I want to embellish more, I can. So it's all up to it's all up to you. It's all up to you as the artist on what you want to do. Yep. So as so as you saw, uh, I just had fun with it, right? I just went in there put the pastels down the way I wanted to. I started using uh, this this thing right here, but then I switched up and started using my finger because I, I just got it into it real quick and nothing really had any direction. It just was for fun. Now, that's what art is, man. So don't let people tell you, oh, art needs to be this and art needs to be that. No, it doesn't. It just needs to be fun. Fun for you while you're doing it. Fun for you while you're seeing it, you know? And now... I am going to uh, post more videos and more videos of me uh, drawing, illustrating, painting, coloring, and I'm going to use different products. Uh, mainly, it's going to be acrylics and pastels. Mainly. And sometimes colors. Sometimes colors like markers. Uh, Watercolors, I love watercolors. And drawing, how, however you want to say it, whatever it is that you do, it's a skill that gets better as you work on it. The more you practice with it, it just gets better. So if you start off drawing stick figures and you're like, you know what, I really like color, but I can't draw. So what? Do abstract. Do like I did. Throw paint on a piece of paper. And do what I do. What do you do? So, you know, whether you're 7, whether you're 37, whether you're 57, man, and you want to draw and you have a blank piece of paper, it's become scary for some people. They don't know what to do with a blank piece of paper. Just throw color at it, man. Have fun with it, you know. Excuse me. Uh, Don't mix black with everything to make it darker. Don't mix white with everything to make it lighter, you know. Black and white are so powerful. For me, they're so powerful when it comes to what it is you're doing that I like to save black for outlining if I can. Or I like to save white and after I black, you know, outlined it out, I'm going to go over it all with white, you know, and put other colors in there. So this will conclude my first video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. And I hope that as the videos go on, I become better at the way I shoot them and possibly stop shooting them off my phone and actually get a camera. And I'm also going to post some videos of this little one doing art as well. Uh, she's going to use the same thing as I do. She's going to have pastels. She's going to use acrylics. She's going to use watercolor. 
and even big fat black markers that she's just going to doodle on paper and stuff like that. So I would say peace out. Remember, art is in everything we do and um, have fun with it. Bye. Bye.